Oh my goodness. This is such confirmation. This is so the Lord. Truly, we are nearly out of time. This is from a relatively new young man in Christ. I, I say new. He's relatively new to my channel. And I've been noticing great growth in him. And I've also been noticing the devil trying to take him. His name's Chris Chapman. And I want you to hear this dream that he just sent me. It came through at 813. Jeannie, I just had a dream that spiritually woke me up. And I think this may help other Christians not fully coming out of the world that Jesus and God want to use or spend time with more. I think the majority of the bride and or body of Christ may be like this. I was at a carnival and there was a scholarly man in a graduation in graduation robes next to a ride that took tickets signifying bachelor degrees or higher to ride. I only have an associate's degree. So I left and decided to take a roller coaster ride next to it. It dropped me along with the people on it into a mine with leg cuffs attached to us. I saw pig people slaughtering, torturing, and cooking other pig people. Now that part's not real clear. You did mean pig people. People that look like pigs? Anyway, he goes on to say, almost like pigs to the slaughter. Some people suddenly became a pile of worms and I took that chance to escape. Well, I got out of the mine and saw that the roller coaster track was now over lava, which I believe signified hell. I saw many people get on it and while that was happening, another roller coaster near the one I was next to had the one I was next to had look of towards heaven. It looked like it was going towards heaven. I then saw the hell coaster fall completely into the lava below and saw people being completely consumed inside the lava till they were no more. I escaped and left the carnival, walking away under a full moon. Interpretation Jesus said to me that this is a warning that I can or will end up in hell if I don't let go of my idols. Addiction, he put in parentheses, addiction to iPhone, YouTube, and video games, closed parentheses, and spend more time with him. It is because I am spending a minimum amount of time each day with him. Parentheses, just spending time at night before bed, close parentheses, but I am obeying God very well otherwise. Christ wants me to spend time with him each morning and afternoon and read the Bible more, more often, but I don't because more often than not, I'm on my phone. Jesus showed me 
between a picture with me standing. Jesus showed me a picture with me standing between Jesus and the world in a grassy field. I had one hand holding on to the world and my other arm was fully holding on to Jesus. He told me I need to fully let go of my worldly idols and spend more time with him. I pictured myself letting go of the world and I flung into Jesus' arms. It's what is holding me back from seeking Christ fully. But it is hard for a young 20-something like me to do. Honey, it's hard for all of us to do. Believe me. I saw two... T I, I added that. Could y'all tell? He ended with, it's hard for a young 20-something like me to do. Then he says, I saw two, two, two after writing my dream down on paper. Confirmation number, two, two, two from Chris. Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing this dream. I just am uploading a video now where the Lord told was it Cameron to drop your uh, get rid of your idols and I said what do you all think are the idols of today and I said put them in the put put them in the comments and I mentioned a few just a few things but there are many many things that can be our idols Things I didn't mention. Stamp collections. Coin collections. Any collections that consumes our time. Wanting to look up. How valuable is this? How old is this? What condition this coin is in? How much is it worth? You see? And it's just a hobby to you. But compare the time spent with that versus the time spent with God. I don't have any, per se, well, I have a little bird collection. I don't look around online, eBay, anything, trying to buy more. They're just sitting there. I started with a few from the Dollar General that were like a dollar or two dollars each, and I thought, how pretty. For such a little, I mean, a, about that good size. They're on this shelf over my head. That's my bird collection right there. If you can see a few of them. There's my bird collection. But you see, I haven't added to it other than the few I bought and a couple from a yard sale. And my daughter's bought me one or two. She She's added to it for me. I have it. But I don't, I haven't even looked up what they're called. <laughs> they just sit there. I love birds. I have many, many pictures. And I've taken pictures of them. But again, I don't sit and try to look up what's the name of it. I should. I guess you'd think if I loved birds, I would. But I don't care what the name of it is. I love birds because Jesus said if, I know not a single sparrow falls that I'm not aware of. And if I'm going to feed the birds, how much more will I feed you? And he's talking about having faith to trust him to feed and clothe us. You know, he talks about the lilies of the field. And just, I guess because I'm a girl, I love flowers anyway. So I have all kind of flowery stuff anyway, but anyhow. Um, I'll let it go at that. But there's so many things that can fall into being an idol. It takes up time. I'm not talking about you have to, you have to take care of your family. 
You have to do your dishes, <laughs> cook for them, do your dishes, whatever. Hopefully your husband's helping if you have one. I know we don't all. Sometimes they leave us, we leave them, whatever happens, or they die. And it just, you know, you don't have a helper. So you've got to do, do it all. And that takes time away from the Lord. But I watched this video yesterday that I wanted to share. And I was a little hesitant, but she was a spitball. I mean, a <laughs> that's not the right word, is it? Spitfire. She was <laughs> on fire for the Lord. And her video was something about why you should talk, why you should pray in the Spirit. And she was, is, is a missionary. I, I may share it. I, I had queued up to watch another one tonight. But then I decided I needed to tend to my email. <laughs> I hadn't wanted to, y'all, because I was so tired. But I thought, I need to tend to my email. And I'm so glad I did, because then I found those two messages. And now this dream... And this dream ties directly in with Cameron's message. So think about what you do. Do you have any idols where you are actually spending too much time uh, that you should be spending with the Lord? I don't let myself get on here till after I've had my time with the Lord in the morning. And I used to get right on the computer after my nap, but I don't anymore. Now I give that time to the Lord. And I hope it's long enough. Some days it's longer than others. Some days I'll take my dog out and then want to come back and spend more time just talking to the Lord. That's what He wants. He just wants you to spend time one-on-one -on -one with Him. And... and uh, Yes, reading our word. I should do that more too. I really should. Because that's another way of spending time with Him. Some people have titled the Bible as God's love letters to us. Well, a lot of it is. But a lot of it is, is teaching us how to live, how to love what he wants us to do and that he wants us to do things you know love one another how can we love your neighbor as yourself and then not do anything for him because oh we don't have to do works we're saved by grace through faith alone y'all got to get off that i don't mean y'all as in my subscribers who don't believe in once saved always saved if there's anybody that catches this video who believes in that you've got to realize that jesus meant what he said when he said you have to love your neighbor as yourself you cannot say oh i love you brother uh, so sorry you're cold and hungry. Be blessed now and stay warm and then walk away. And don't do a thing. You don't make a few phone calls if you're poor also. And you don't have food and clothes to give them. You can try to help them. Maybe they're such a bad way off they can't even think straight. Maybe you can. Maybe you could think straight for them. Maybe you could help them make a few phone calls. Find out who, what charities are nearby that helps people with food and clothes. There's always something we can do. There's always something we can do. And, and, and just to back that up with this, I don't care how many of those good things you do. If you don't accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, first... If you cannot admit you're a sinner, confess your sins and ask Jesus into your heart to be your Savior, that you believe in Him, telling Him, I believe you are my Savior. I believe you died on the cross for me and rose again from the dead, proving your God. I believe it, Lord. 
And I want you to come into me and be my Savior. Give me your the gift of your Holy Spirit. Fill me, fill me, fill me with your Holy Spirit. I need all the help I can get. If you don't do that first to receive the grace, we it is by grace that you are saved. It is by faith that you are saved through grace, through the grace of God. Your faith, His grace, bestowed upon you. Faith. You have to believe. For whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish. But that word, Believe means to obey, commit, and obey. You believe to the point of committing and obeying. Okay? You can do all the works in the world, like Mother Teresa, but if she never gave her heart to the Lord, if she never confessed, I am a sinner, in need of salvation, Jesus, come into my heart and be my Savior. She died not born again. You see the point? Spent her whole life doing good works. You have to be saved first. Born again. You actually get salvation when you die or get raptured. You want to be born again. For if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. You become a new creation in Christ. Your old man, you got to put him to death. You got to put to death the flesh. It's a daily walk. It's a daily struggle. It's a daily thing to pull away from the world until you're out of it. And it takes some of us a lot longer than others. But you can do it. You can do it in a night. Yeah, it's hard. 20-some-year-old young man? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Oh, I got a number. 919, y'all. Oh, I've got to look it up. And you know what? One of y'all's pictures popped up after it. Ha, <laughs> that was cool. Okay. All right, let me look this up. 919. I'm about to close it up anyway. Oops, that's the weather. We don't want the weather. No, I don't want that cold weather. I don't want that news. <laughs> 919. All right, let's see what it says. Of Aramaic origin. It's a long word. Various Sioux, but it's proper. All right, so it may be Hebrew. But it, oh. Bar Jesus. Bar Jesus. Equals son of Jesus, a certain false prophet, Bar Jesus, Bar Jesus of Chaldean origin, an Israelite. All right, let's see what scripture it's used in Acts 13 6. And when they had gone through the isle into Paphos. They found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus. Is the Lord trying to tell us something? What do y'all think? Let me try the Hebrew. Bedek. From H918. A breach or cocker, a fisher, rent, 
like to rent something into. They used to rent their clothing, a breach, a leak, like in a building. Let's see how it's used. Let the priests take it to them, every man of his acquaintance, and let them repair the breaches of the house wheresoever any breach shall be found. Okay, that's one way it's used. Um, breach, breach, breaches, breaches of the house, breaches of his house. Okay, here's where cockers is used. The ancients of Gibal and the wise men thereof were in thee thy cockers, all of the ships of the sea with their mariners were in thee to occupy thy merchandise. Huh. Thy cockers. occupiers of thy merchandise. I mean, I'm thinking of a man with a cock gun. You know how you do when you fix plumbing, like you put in a new tub and then you had to cock the line where it meets the floor so any water that splashes down doesn't get the floor wet under it. I'm having a feeling that's not what they're talking about. Let's try a different version. Okay, here it is in the NASB Strong's. A breach, a cocker is used with H2388. And here it means a fissure, a rent, a breach, or a leak in a building. Okay, so I don't know if that's that helpful. So anyway, I'm going to end this here now. You let me know what y'all think about that. Do we have a false prophet on our hands? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and over all of our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.